Hello, hello, and welcome to Steel Pan Training Center. My name is Sterling C. Sample, your inventor of the Steel Pan Tutor. And today we're going to do some more Steel Pan Keys. We're going to do uh, some major skills today, okay, guys? We're going to do major skills today, and I hope you will learn the rest of the class, the rest of um, training that you had in the last classes. And I show you how to break down skills. Today we're going to break down the C sharp. We're going to start from C sharp, C sharp major. Uh, we're going to do C sharp major scales and do some chord progressions inside the C sharp major scales. Okay. Once again, we have the fourths and fifth. We have the thirds and fourth. We have the double second. So you have three pans to learn from. You can learn from these three pans. You can learn them virtually. Or if you have pans in your house, you can learn them. If you want to buy a steel pan, you can get them through yours truly or any steel pan place near you. Um, you can check them out and um, if they want to rent you a pan, you can rent one just to learn. Okay, guys? Now, remember your octave is going to be in two. We started in C sharp, so make sure you are in C sharp. Okay? Make sure you are in C sharp. Um, the note colors and everything is right. So once again, we're going to load the MIDI. Okay? We're going to load MIDI. Let's load MIDI. And these are my MIDI progression courses. So what's, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my program, my personal stash. And get major chord progression. These are all my chord progressions here. I'm gonna get you a one, five, six, four chord progression. That's a famous chord progression. One, five, six chord progression. Now hold on to your hats. <laughs> We're gonna go into it right now, okay? And I'm gonna go into that. I will break it down for you after. Let's hear how it sounds first. <laughs> Sound familiar? Die, die, Lord, do. Very, very familiar chord progression. One of the most familiar chord progressions in the world. A one five six, a one five six four chord progression. Right. So let's break down this chord progression here. Let, let's let's see how it looks like. Okay, guys. Let's. Let's see how this thing looks like in, in, um, in musical terms. Let's see how it looks like in musical terms. Now, now let's break it down, okay? Now, remember, you have the C-sharp major. This is the C-sharp major scale. Now, we go, now a little trick I've learned, I've seen guys do it, I've seen people do it. Um, in music, you're going to see this. Once you see this, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sharps. Which means you're sharpening everything. So if you have a if you have a C sharp chord, sharpen all the notes in alphabetical order, and then transpose them, uh, and then um what we, we, we call um enharmonics, right? Enharmonics is what I taught you. We we learn about enharmonics in one of my steel fan class. If you don't know what enharmonics means, check out what enharmonics mean. En enharmonics, excuse me, mean a note. With the same sound but a different name. Okay, so watch me. So watch me. If you're sharpening this C sharp, if you're sharpening this C, you'll get C sharp, right? If you're sharpening this C sharp, what you gonna get? You're gonna get D, right? Or C sharp. Right? If you're sharpening this D, you're gonna get what? You're gonna get E flat. If sharpening is to go forward, flattening is to go back. In music, sharpen is to go forward. And flatten this to go back. Now, if you if you sharpen this E flat, if you sharpen this E flat, will you if you sharpen this E flat, <laughs> will you get E sharp is what? If you sharpen this E, you sharpen this E, you're sharpening the E, right? You ain't saying E E flat, you're sharpening the E. If you sharpen this E, will you get? You will get F. If you sharpen the F, what will you get? You will get F sharp. If you sharpen the G, what you will get? You will get G sharp. Now our pan have G sharp, but our, our pan don't have E sharp. We have F in the steel pan, right? You see, I have to have E sharp here and I have D sharp here. We don't have, we don't use D sharp in our pan as as write out the notes. We go write all the notes as E flat, okay? And G sharp. If if you sharpen your E, if you sharp if you if you sharpen your E, right? When you H E sharp, you'll get F, right? If you sharpen your F, you sharpen your G. 
Yo di ap nye jye shap, yon gen jye. Jye shap, fi ap nye jye shap. Fi ap nye jye, yon gen jye shap. E kwe shap nye e, wè yon gen. And flat, and so forth, and so forth. E kwe shap nye, yon shap nye b. If you shop me a B, you'll get C. Shop me C, you'll get C sharp. Now, now, the way how the C major scale breaks down is like this. As I taught you before, it's a major, then it's a minor, then it's a minor again, a major, major, diminish. I mean a mean minor and then diminish. So the one is a major, C sharp major, and how you get the C sharp major? Skipping every other note. Skip every other note. Skip C sharp, skip D, D flat, D sharp, or E flat. Skip the and go to F, which is E sharp, F minor. So C sharp to F, then skip that F sharp to G sharp. So C sharp, F, G sharp, will give you C major. Then you want the minor, you do the same thing. E flat, which is D sharp. F sharp, B flat, right? So you get a minor, that's D minor, that's E flat minor. And you do the same thing with all the notes that go forward. Okay, I don't, I ain't gonna go through all with you. You gotta learn some on yourself. So now, you learn what it is like, okay? How to break down your scales. Anytime you see these, you're, you're sharpening everything. So seven sharps, C sharp have seven sharps in it. So you, you, call, you name all them sharps. You do the same thing with flats too. If you get an E flat, if you get an E flat minor chord, E flat, you break, you, you name all of them in flats. You say E flat, F flat, G flat, you know, and so forth. You go in alphabetical order. Okay, I hope that makes sense for you. Okay, so so now let's let's go back, let's go back, let's go. Let's see if I can find my way back to this to my to my to my main screen here. <laughs> My main screen here. Come on, come on, come on. All right, my way back to my main screen. Come on, give me. Boo, 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 boo. Get this out of here and get back to my main screen. Now, let's do the. Let's do the scale. The 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 progression. Okay. So the progression is a one. Okay. Which is just C sharp. Which is C sharp, of course. Right. Right. And then you you go to your your five. Then you're six, then you're one. So it's loaded already. So here we go. Now you can arpeggiate these as a steel pan player, as we say. Here's it in the twos and fourths. Again. And you can write your own song. You have your own melody here. Nobody owns these melodies. These melodies have been playing in music for years. People have been recycling them and playing songs in them. Reggae songs, calypso songs, uh, all kind of classical songs. All these have been recycled. Let's do it in the fourth and in the fourth and fifth style. And remember. Let's take it up to C sharp. We've been C sharp, right? Let's take it up to C. Let's take it up to C. Let's see it on the thirds and fourths. La do do sweet 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 la do 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 die da da de do. Let's take it with the double seconds now. Come on now, we're on a roll now. And C, right? You're in C now because you remember you started C sharp. You're in C now. Okay? Do the same thing I show you. You know your C major scale? Break it down. Use the third. Use, use the first. You go to the fifth. Then go to the sixth chord. Then go to the, right? So, so, so it's a major. So it's, it's a major. Major, major, and a minor. Okay? Major, major, the one is a major, right? The five is a major, right? The six, the four, the four is a major. 
and the sixes are minor. Okay, so let's 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 go down to another key. We can jump all the way down to B flat, or we can go to G sharp. Let's go to G sharp and see the song in G sharp. This is this this is the magic and the magic of the steel pan shooter. Where you can find in, you can just take one scale. <laughs> so much fun with this thing man it's ridiculous let's see them on the fourth and fifth the most famous fan in the world now if you want a copy of this of this steel pan tutor for your laptop uh, uh inbox me tell me hey still and i like this uh, send me a copy and give you a special discount. If you've seen this video and you like this, I'll give you this special discount. I'm running a special sale right now. You can buy this straight from me. This is not sold on um, in, 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 uh, uh, on, I, on iTunes. It's not sold on Amazon. It's sold from my personal stash. You have to get it through me. If you buy it online, you still have to come to me to get these keys and everything to open it up. So. Uh, give me a call, inbox me, tell me Sterling, hey, I like it, I have a back, send me a copy, and I'll, I'll show you how to send me a PayPal. If you will, if you like the message and you want to just bless me with a PayPal, uh, send it to Sterling, sing, st Steel Pan Tutor, PayPal, uh, inbox me, say Sterling, I want to send something to you, I'll send you an invoice, and um, uh, and you can have fun, okay, guys? So, so God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Sterling C sample. I hope when you're shutting, you can use these. All my people in Trinidad who have seen it, all my PAN members, all the new players, people who now start to play PAN. This is more for like, you know, players who, who now start to play and they want to learn, and or players who've been playing all these years and they still want to, you know, learn chord progressions and know how to, how to break down chords and stuff. This is the program for you. So God bless you and you please have a nice major C sharp chord progression day. <laughs> oh, I know that's it. Let me take you back up in C sharp before you go, okay? Ah, let me take you back to C sharp before you go. Remember C sharp, okay? Alright, let's take it again. Okay, we miss one, we miss one, we miss one. Take it back again. Okay, so please feel free to su subscribe to my YouTube station down below. Hit that, hit that bell, ring that bell, so you'll be, you know, every time a new video come out, you will get a notification, and um, you can learn your stuff, and kick your pan out, kick everybody out of the room, and just... Practice, practice, practice. Okay, guys? Uh, you can stop it on, you can learn it with the thirds and fourths. So you can learn it on the fourths and fifth or the double seconds. And uh, my app is also available in iTunes, in I and the Apple Market for the for the iPad. And for Android, it's on the phone, but the Android phone don't have no MIDI capabilities. I also have a free version on the iPad. You can get that. And just go in and, and practice. Take it and download the free version in the iTunes market and, and just put it on your iPad and practice anyway. That's from me to you. That's the COVID lockdown. That's my COVID lockdown uh, a gift to you, okay? So, guys, I don't want to stay too long, so God bless you and have a wonderful day. Sterling C. Sample here from the Steel Drum Training Center of America saying God bless you and have a wonderful shutting day.